Greetings, and welcome to episode 66. In today's episode, we will be discussing being lost, because I am at this point lost. I don't know what you gathered from watching these videos, but sometimes there comes a point where nothing's going on, and I too get lost. I can't seem to find the sign that I need to move forward, so I'm trying to stay grounded in, in one place for a minute, metaphorically speaking. Anyway, if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, being lost. Now, this wasn't the video I had in mind, and I was supposed to do the video yesterday. I was supposed to be doing three videos a week. For some reason, I can't seem to get it together to do my videos like I'm supposed to. I don't know what's going on with that. All I know is that it's becoming increasingly more difficult to do it. It's like something's blocking me, and it could be myself, but it could be something else. I have no idea. But today's episode isn't about anything but the mundane happening of being lost. And in the intro, I was a little disingenuous saying nothing's going on, but there's quite a bit going on. <coughs> Excuse me. In my life right now, and I'm a little bit overwhelmed, I, I guess I could say. And I don't know what the next step should be. I mean, there's plenty of, uh, what should I say, choices that I could make, but I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to make the wrong decision. And uh, without giving too much about my personal life away, I want to get into the fact that we all become lost at some point or another. That way, you as the viewer or the seeker or whatever you want to call yourself you're not getting hung up on the fact that you're not the only one you may feel like you're the only one that hits this point but you're not we all hit this point eventually sometime sometimes it's not so dramatic because you don't have so many things going on at once but it would seem that I may have stretched out a situation much longer than it was necessary. And if that is the case, I have to reevaluate, <laughs> reevaluate, and pretty much restructure the entirety of my life. If, if I'm wrong, however, and I'm just seeing things wrong, then I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do or what I'm going to do. All I can say is, I just, I guess I'll keep trying. I want to make the decisions that lead to my my greatest possible outcome and so I'm not really seeking advice I'm just trying to let you know that I've hit this spot and if you've ever hit this spot then it's normal because I hit this spot a lot you're not going crazy or you're not weak-minded because you can't see around a particular moment and that's pretty much all it is is I guess I'm too uh, too bent on making an appropriate decision and usually I err on the side of caution. But life isn't about being safe. Fortune favors the brave and all that. But on the same token, am I missing something in the bigger picture that would tell me that I'm doing what I need to be doing and I'm where I'm supposed to be at and I just should just stay where I'm at? Am I trying to reach for more than what is allotted 
to my particular journey. And I can honestly say, I don't know. Because from one point of view, I have everything I need and I should just keep going down the path I'm on. But from another point of view, I'm languishing and it's time to move on. But who gets to say that I'm doing it right or doing it wrong or the next decision I make is be the right or wrong decision? Who's to say that? Me. Just me. Because out of everyone on the planet, I'm the only one that really knows where I wanted to head in the first place, A, and B, what those decisions, what any decision I make at this point in time will lead me to. So, I guess it's more a matter of am I where I want to be? Could I do more if I, it, it, with a dramatic change to my circumstances? I mean, because if I could do more with a dramatic change to my circumstances, why would I not change my circumstances? I mean, fix my hair, because I don't have a hair guy. <laughs> uh, this dramatic change to my circumstances could ruin, could ruin my life. Spiritually, emotionally, uh, economically. But on the same token, am I staying where I, I'm at because I'm comfortable where I'm at? Because it's safe where I'm at? I've done that a lot. And I'm not above thinking I could be doing that now. There's so much more out there. And I don't have access to it. That doesn't mean that if I make the wrong decision, I wouldn't still have access to it. What that means is, if I make the wrong decision, other aspects of my life could be upended. And the question there is, am I really willing to completely uproot everything and plant another, plant another tree when this one is growing? I mean, I, I, I'm the only person that can really judge and say, is this, is this tree growing in the fashion that I planned on, that I like? Because if it's not, there's really no one to blame but myself. Uh, no matter if there's someone in my life causing grief, no matter if there's outside forces at work, the only thing that matters is it's my choice what happens next. But like I said, if I choose wrong, am I reaching for more than what I need? Or am I reaching for what is appropriate? But on the same token, let's reverse it. If I choose not to replant, if I choose not to dig up this tree and replant, is that the appropriate decision? Am I supposed to be where I'm at? I mean, either decision is fine, but I guess when you have to live your life based on the input of someone else, the particular tree that I would be uprooting to plant my new tree grows based on the decision of myself and someone else.
and I guess some of the decisions that have been made I don't really appreciate. It doesn't mean that those decisions are wrong, but it means I don't appreciate that those decisions were made. And some decisions were made without any consultation on my part. They never came to consult me about the decision. This decision was just made and then kind of fluffed over and, and put on the back burner because to them it didn't matter as much. And as I'm sitting here talking about it, it's almost making the answer materialize, and then it's it's starting to point to not what's the word I'm looking for? Not having the courage it takes to make a life altering decision, I guess. And I remember vividly when you put those life altering decisions on hold for too long the consequences of making that decision become worse because even if it's the right decision there's going to be consequences anything you do there's there's consequences there's pluses and minuses to everything you do but the longer you wait to make one of those huge decisions the minuses become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger or maybe they're just viewed as such, and maybe I'm just over, I'm blowing it out of proportion in my mind. <sighs> and then there's the whole, do I really want to plant a new tree? Do I really want to plant a new tree after getting this tree up and going? Is, is that the comfort zone I'm trying to avoid leaving? Could be could be I'm not I'm not like I said I'm not I don't think so highly of myself that I think I'm always making the right decision I don't think so highly of myself to think that I could just be whining I could just not be appreciating what I have I that it, I'm fully prepared to accept that But it's funny because I'm not as fully prepared to accept that I it's time to dig up the tree and plant a new one. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to or even in a position to dig up the tree and plant a new one. Let's just put it this way. I haven't been in a situation where I had to make my own decisions and didn't get or even need input from someone else for 13 years and now to start from scratch I mean there's decisions that have been made there's uh, plans that have been made that the whole idea was it was based on this tree and if this tree gets uprooted that's a whole rest of your life kind of thing where you no longer have the rest of your life planned out and maybe that's just the safety I'm looking for or the, the safety I'm afraid to leave is the safety of having everything already planned out not everything but most everything there are certain details that still need to be ironed out but it's the fact that 13 years of a two-party decision-making system that will no longer be valid and those plans will no longer be valid and then you're left with the well now I gotta rewrite everything so I guess my being lost comes down to am I just being comfortable or is it a really is it a real concern that I might be making a decision that will ruin my life because on the upside, oh, I could have so much more fun and this and that and the other. But at what cost? But on the same token, if I stay where I'm at,
and maybe there's the answer to that side maybe both decisions are valid because I see I've lost sight of something that I held most dear and that that's where the the, the decision kind of stems from but on the same token other things that I've lost sight of previously are coming back into focus and maybe it's a matter of trying to integrate maybe I'm not trying to plant a new tree so to speak but maybe coax a new limb into forming so I can I mean I guess you could call it having your cake and eating it too but I would really really appreciate a sign <laughs> because it's getting it's getting down to the wire with the decision making and I don't want to make the wrong decision I, I, I don't want to make the wrong decision I don't want to throw away what I have that seems wasteful to have what you want to to a degree because it's not perfect my tree is not perfect by any means and neither will be the tree that I plant next but something a large part of me of saying it's time for a new tree and then the rest of me is saying there's nothing wrong with the tree you have what is wrong with the tree you have you will find nothing different planting this new tree the only thing I could possibly have different with this new tree is removal of the secondary decision-making apparatus <laughs> so to speak <laughs> But also, the decision might be out of my hands. So I guess the decision would be to... Do I fight to defend the tree that I have, or do I just say, hell with it, and rip it up and plant a new one? Because I have no intention, honestly, of defending... I don't, I don't see the need to defend this tree it's not just up to me to keep the tree safe and if I'm the only one doing it then it's not really worth it and if it's not really worth it then I probably shouldn't be doing it and I'm answering my own question by making this video so I guess this video was probably the best thing I could have ever done concerning the situation because I had two other videos planned to do this week actually I planned on doing them last week but like I said it's becoming increasingly harder and harder to just sit down and do these videos it's like something is physically stopping me from making my videos which is fine and I don't even expect that this video will even get watched all that much none of the other ones really get all that much attention but they get enough that I feel confident that making the videos is a good idea but yeah I'm lost and I have not a clue what I'm supposed to be doing right now if let's put it this way if I if I make the wrong decision I won't know until I've made the decision and then it'll be too late and once it's too late then what do you do what do you do when you make the wrong decision and it can't be undone I mean l literally there's nothing you can do about it the decision's been made all you can do is deal with the consequences of your decision which to me it just makes it even more makes it seem even more that my decision at this point is being made based on being afraid to leave my comfort zone but I don't honestly see that I mean just based on life experience that anything would change if I if I left the comfort zone if I leave my comfort zone I would literally have to stay out of any other type of comfort zone I would always have to continue continually for the rest of my life push the comfort zone to make it a valid choice to leave my comfort zone
just because you can't say, well, I'm in a comfort zone. I'm afraid to leave it. Leave it and then find yourself in another comfort zone and end up in the same predicament. I mean, that could be all it is to it. That could be the, the, the root of the problem is just getting into a comfort zone in the first place. I mean, maybe you're supposed to push limits. Maybe you're supposed to see where it goes. I mean, I might be under the false perception that what's going on is my decision in the first place. It could be, it could just, that could be just be an illusion and then somebody else is pulling the strings somewhere else. Like the other person that makes decisions about the tree I'm discussing. <laughs> But no matter what happens, I'm, you're still left with the consequences. No, regardless of who's making the decision. If the decision is made for me, I'm still left with the consequences. If I make a decision, I'm still left with the consequences. I guess that it's my fault for not being prepared for any contingency. I should have never gotten so comfortable and put in my faith and trust in any one decision that I didn't leave myself an out. That is my own fault. And I should probably rectify that because I don't like the idea of being left with such heavy consequences that I don't feel like I even have a choice but to stay in my comfort zone and I hesitate to use the word rut because it doesn't it's not it doesn't feel so much like a rut as a comfort zone I'm comfortable it's a rut seems like something you can't get out of no matter what you do you can't get out of it without so much difficulty that no matter if it's the right decision it'll ruin you this is feels like a comfort zone and I'm scared to, to, to move one way or the other that's what it feels like. But that fear could just be me telling me, ease back. But then, base it on past experience, 40 years of observation and experience. Hang on. Pardon me. Mustache hair. <laughs> Tells me that if I feel this way, there's a reason. And maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Maybe I'm not supposed to replant anything. Maybe I'm just supposed to find out what's going on with my tree that's causing me such distress and work on that problem. And then if the tree can't be saved, the tree can't be saved. And there's nothing I or anybody else that's going to do about that. There's nothing we can do about that. But, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to do... And I've been saying I'm going to do a show about the chakras, and I'm going to. I swear it, eventually. And uh, and the three episodes a week, yeah, we're going to try to get on that too. But it seems like the harder I try to do my show, the harder whoever it is pushes for me to not do my show. And If I'm not supposed to be doing this, I can accept that too. But I don't accept that somebody's trying to stop me. That's what it feels like. But yeah, it just... I'm getting tired. Very, very tired and weary. And maybe I'm just getting old. Which is perfectly possible. And if I'm going to let this tree die, I need to do it now. And stop tending to it. Because then it's just going to be harder to pull it up and plant another one later. I'm answering my own questions. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not near the 30 minute mark yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and call it because I, I, need, I have a lot to think about and I'm not giving myself the opportunity I need to think about it. So, with that, I'm going to tell you that if you have enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. And go ahead and leave comments down below. I'd like to hear about 
something you're going through or your 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 little blank spots where you're confused and don't know which way to go but uh if you would like to get more information or just come see me or you just like the sound of my voice uh go ahead and click the subscribe button but until next time you hang in there <laughs>